All right, let's talk some weather now. Let's get over to First Alert uh, Meteorologist Aaron Moran here. Uh, and things starting to warm up, and we can already feel it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we were all feeling it this morning, right? When a lot of us stepped outside to temperatures in the 60s. Now uh, we've got temperatures here in North Texas. Metroplex, most spots 83 to 84 degrees. You see McKinney at 83, Denton at 84 right now. Bridgeport is up to 87. And then Graham sitting in the low 90s, which we did expect. We said yesterday, hey, few spots out to the west may get into the low 90s later today. Uh, does not feel like we are in early November. Tomorrow is going to be warm as well. Maybe not quite as warm as today. The 24 hour temperature change is notable about two to five degrees warmer compared to this time yesterday for most of us. But just kind of looking at the next few hours. Remember, we still have an election day underway. The polls are open through seven and we will have clear skies by seven o'clock with temperatures at 77 degrees overnight. Tonight, we don't drop much, even with the skies generally clear. Mid and upper 60s to start your Wednesday off. Now, the one interesting note is that some of the models have been picking up on a little bit of low level cloud cover early in the morning. Uh, this one particular model, you can see portions of Dallas County, a good bit of Ellis County, about half of Collin County, and then areas farther south and east with this cloud cover. Uh, and then it fizzles out, right, as we head towards midday. There's at least one model that doesn't have that cloud cover kind of breaking apart and becoming more sunny. That would keep temperatures cooler tomorrow. But for right now, we're going with sunnier skies throughout the afternoon, and that will allow temperatures to warm into the low and mid 80s. But the clouds will start to increase as we head into Wednesday afternoon. You start to see that from some of our western counties. And then our cold front, our highly anticipated cold front, it's approaching late tomorrow night and into Thursday morning, maybe moving through a little faster than expected. Uh, northerly winds even as early as four or five o'clock in the morning for parts of North Texas, but it looks more like nine, ten o'clock in the morning where we start to have that rain filling in behind this cold front. So again, behind the front, little less in the way of instability. So this is mainly just going to be a steady rain with some pockets of heavier rain as we head into the afternoon. This could impact parts of the Metroplex as we look to that afternoon and evening drive on Thursday, and then most of the the rain kind of winding down as we get past midnight into Friday morning. Here's 7 a.m. And you notice we're already starting to see a little bit of a clearing for some of our northwestern counties. Still a few showers to the east of 35. Uh, but, you know, Friday is not going to be as bad as Thursday when it comes to rain and when it comes to falling temperatures as well. Be prepared for this. You see 63 by 7 a.m., 62 by 9 a.m. going in the wrong direction. But we've got more cloud cover and more rain as we go through the afternoon. So uh, be prepared for a rainy Thursday with temperatures in the 50s in the afternoon. And we're still expecting it to be a little cooler as we head into the weekend. 64 Saturday, 65 on Sunday, mid 60s early next week, guys.